Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's me again. It's um, Thursday, April 23rd at 11.19. I never thought I'd make a video about this, but you know what? It's part of our amendments, part of our civil rights, so I'm going to do it. I got an email from the Primed Patriot. It says, Just when... You thought those liberals couldn't get any crazier. Oh, yeah, they can. Anyway, he says, or she, or whoever, they. Fox News just reported on the growing number of Second Amendment sanctuaries. Sanctuaries. Now, don't you love the way they worded that? Second Amendment sanctuaries popping up around the country, cities and counties where citizens are not allowed to bring firearms, only the police. What about the criminals? Do you reckon the criminals are going to obey this? People got to go if they want to go to a fair, let's say. It's in a county, a county fair, the next county over. But it's a sanctuary county. So you're not allowed to carry your gun. But the criminals who know you're not allowed to carry your gun, boy, they got one down in their sock and in their back, uh, in their belt or whatever, however they hide them. They're going to go knowing you don't got one to shoot them back with. I just find this awesome, uh, awesomely crazy. <laughs> Wrong word. But anyway, I can't think of something better. Every day, America is starting to feel more and more like disarmed Germany in 1938. So, now is the time to, and this is underlined, get concealed carry certified before these wacko liberals push tighter gun laws on us. Well... Okay, let me just finish, and then I'll say what I'm going to say. Government tyranny relies on a defenseless citizenry, which is exactly why America's founding fathers advocated for a well-regulated militia made up of regular citizens like you and I. Download your certif certification now. Okay, I'll click on those links and I'll put them in the description box. So if you want to look into this further, you can do so. Now remember the video I just put up. If you haven't watched it, you should. And one of the, the messages from the Lord was about not moving ahead without him. I wish I had it in front of me. It's probably in my trash. It should be near the top, though. They keep sending me things on auto insurance. Don't they know I don't have a car? Here it is. All right. Let's see. Not that one. Trying to wake people up. Helping people out of a forest. Uh, okay, it's the one from Kevin Robinson. Carefully use caution. I believe you are getting certain areas of your life ahead of where I am leading and directing you. You are not alone due to extenuating circumstances. You feel you need to take control, which puts you in a perilous position. Getting out from under my wings of protection leaves you vulnerable to many hazards. Slow down. Weigh your decisions very carefully. Exercise restraint 
of your flesh. Stressful times do not warrant far-reaching measures. Now, why did I want to say that? Here's what I believe. The New World Order is coming. If you are left behind after the first rapture and you think your guns are going to help you keep out the police and keep you safe, it, they may for a while from looters and those who have gone nuts because their babies were taken and they didn't, they don't know what else to do and, you know, that this will happen. But when you go do something like okay that's really weird there's something behind my camera that I didn't have up uh, oh okay I forgot to log out Okay, now, um, oh yeah, I was reading to you this, this uh, thing about the guns. All right, if you file a concealed carry certificate, they're going to know you've got guns. They probably already do, but now they know you're intending to carry it in a concealed manner. This just puts you on a list more so than ever. I, I mean, it's up to each individual to pray about it and ask the Lord what you should do, but I, I ask you to please do so before you just jump ahead and do it. Do you want them to have even more information on you. I have mixed feelings about it because I know that if you've bought your gun legally, they already know you have it. If you haven't sold it to someone and didn't report it, they're going to still think you have it and you're still going to be liable to have your front door smashed in while they come in to force a vaccination on you if that happens before the second rapture. I am praying that that does not happen before the second rapture. I am hoping against all hope that it's 40 days after the first. And I pray and I hope the first one is any time now, like they're saying, a lot of people are saying it, but because of that Rabbi Kaduri prophecy and something about the 120 days, 620 days or years, I can't remember. But it adds up and it could be. It's a, poss it's a possibility. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one let's see if it'll take me there the concealed carry and while that's trying to pull up I'll click on download your certificate now we'll see where that takes me all right US concealed online there's a Randy Picou I don't know if anybody's familiar with him it says begin here. I'll link this in the description box. This one, however, is not wanting to pull up. But I'll keep trying. I'll end this here and I'll talk to you later. But pray about it before you fill out this form and mail it in. What should you do? What should we as Christians do? Pray harder to get raptured? Be rapture ready. Worry about that. 
But if you have your doubts and you think you need your guns, you pray about what to do about that. You, you know, take all that into consideration. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.